So we're here and we've got a new case. Uh, it's the Revolution case. It's got these skins, the AK Headshot, M4A4 Temu Kao, P2000 Wicked Sick, UMP45 Wild Child, the Op Doodle Lore. This is like really controversial. And these skins are really cool. This is just a really holographic skin with a lot of white on it. And it seems like we are generally moving towards way more bright skins nowadays. We also got another skin that I am not happy about, but a lot of people are. This is probably where CSGO is headed. If it sells well, they will do it. And it's a red too, so. I prefer the AK, but there's gonna be people who prefer the M4. Then we've got the AWP, which also looks really quite cool. It's like a riff on the Dragon Lore. Just looks a lot like that, but it has doodles on it. And I, I don't know about the color palette. It could have been very cool. I think in general, the skins are okay. The main problem with the case is the knives in it. So it has the, it has the gloves from the clutch case and the clutch case has probably been moved out. So does that mean that the clutch case is now a good investment? Well, I think the clutch case could do reasonably well. I think it will go higher than it was before and I don't think it will go back down. But that is because we need to look at the prices from the past cases, okay? The revolution case is one of the newest cases. So we're gonna check what happened to the last new case, which was the recoil case. Now the recoil case is still at 62 cents on the market right now. So, and that is after a lot of time because it was introduced back in July 2022. So that's like eight months ago or like a long time ago and it's still at 60 cents so we can assume that the revolution case will stay at 60 cents in six months reasonably fair right because the recoil case doesn't have particularly good gloves it doesn't have particularly good skins the skins are nice but compared to the revolution case yeah i think they're about fair and i think the gloves are from the revolution case are better than the recoil case so the revolution case might be even more expensive as well because it's good to open because it's new new cases are always really high in ROI so opening it is quite good in percentages so people will want to open these as well to get the new AK which is nice the M4 if you're a weeb the Op Doodle Lore which is nice and the rest of the skins even this M4 a one is like purple it's really good it's gonna be quite expensive and the rest of these the Glock is nice uh, and the rest of these yeah, they're fine they're like blues sure but they're quite nice and I think they're gonna be relatively expensive so that means unless this case magically drops down in price a lot the clutch case will stay the cheapest way to open these gloves for a while unless it gets opened a lot and then this case becomes cheaper and cheaper and cheaper but it could be that the revolution case doesn't stay in the drop pool for five years and the clutch case in the meantime does go down nicely so they will eventually meet in price of course but i think that might take a while which means most people are like oh clutch is worthless now i don't think so clutch is gonna go up a bit now it's gonna level out a bit it might go up a bit more over the coming weeks because the revolution case is not gonna go down that much after the first week it's gonna be five euros it's gonna go down to four three two one then it's gonna slowly over months and months and months go down to 60 cents something like that and that's gonna level go up and down a bit with the market back in the day the cases were cheap nowadays not anymore non not enough of them are dropped for them to go down and clutch still has a lot of supply from the past but i think the new case is not gonna reach clutch level so i think clutch has to go up or it has to stay where it is we have to realize that there's currently 3.1 million cases being opened for the clutch case which means 3.1 million people want to open that case so either they have to keep opening the clutch case that is now discontinued or they have to switch to a different case perhaps the newest one but that one is so expensive you can't open 3.1 million of them there's not enough of them around sure they will be dropped a lot but the price is so high a lot of people are gonna keep opening clutch and that means since there is no longer a lot of clutch being dropped clutch case supply is gonna go down a lot and i mean an absolute lot like so much over the next couple months because the case the newest case is not gonna go down below clutch at least for a half a year because we can see the newest cases are still above that so either clutch has to rise to the level somewhat of the new revolution case or the revolution case has to go all the way down to the clutch price but i don't think that could happen i think in half a year the revolution case is going to meet somewhere where the recoil case is now which is 62 cents which means if if people want to keep opening clutch which clearly they do they're not just going to stop wanting the gloves from it clutch case has to be opened which means the supply has to go down which means the price has to go up the price of the clutch case is going to go up in the next couple months in the next four to six months it's going to go up a lot and i think it's going to meet somewhere in the middle like 60 cents and I think once they are at the same level, they will slowly just go down over time again to maybe 50 cents. But I think it will stay there. Of course, until the revolution case is discontinued, because at that point, they will most likely not do another case with the old clutch 
gloves. They will at that point have so many new knives and new gloves and new everything in the game that they don't need to reuse the old ones again and they will let them be discontinued, which will mean the clutch and the revolution case can go up together. But that's long term, that will be in like three to four years. So for now, maybe a bit less though, it depends on what they do. So I don't think they will go really down that much. I think clutch still has to go up, otherwise there is simply going to be not enough supply. Like these cases, even the Dreams and Nightmares case, which is quite old at this point, if we just look at that, it's still 61 cents. You see? 63. So they just seem to level out at 62 cents nowadays. You see, and it went up a bit. They move with the market. If there's more people opening, of course, there's going to be a higher price. They don't seem to go down to 20 cents or even lower. So in my opinion, even though the clutch case right now is more expensive, like 38 cents, I think it's going to go even higher. I think, yeah, the spike, initial spike was way too high, but I think it might even reach the spike again somehow in the next couple months because the demand is there. There's 3.2 million people who want to open, 3.1, sorry, who want to open these gloves. The new case is too expensive. The clutch case is the only one that's cheap. That's still a lot out there. Yeah, the supply is going to go down. So if you're thinking about selling them, you could sell half and keep the rest. You could just keep them. I am keeping all my clutch cases because this is really good for clutch investors, even though they might not think it is right people are thinking no it's worthless now no it isn't it's still the cheapest way to open it and i think it will stay that way even if it just stays at 40 cents I, it will go down a bit again because this was the spike even if it just stays at 44 cents it's still going to be the cheaper option in six months to open it, the glove so it has to go down in supply still the new new cases coming in is basically nothing compared to how many are opened we calculated that it's going to be somewhere like six thousand or eight thousand or somewhere in that tiny range so 3.1 million it isn't going to make a difference being in the rare pool is basically being discontinued nowadays it basically means the same thing one more interesting thing they reused old gloves again which means like if, if they don't have something new planned like an operation they would have done new knives or new gloves and in my opinion the next new thing is going to be new gloves which i said in this video go check it out if you haven't seen it yet but they haven't done that which means they must be saving them for something coming soon maybe an operation we are waiting for one and i think they're just working on it quite a lot they might might also be working on source 2 in the background there's a lot going on at valve but this is a good sign we are still getting updates the operation is on its way in my opinion because otherwise they would have done new gloves or new knives so yeah i think they're still saving it so all in all this is very good for the market we get a new case it's something to keep all these millions of people playing interested for a bit and in the meantime they are working on a good operation that's my hopeful estimation of what's happening of course they will disappoint always but otherwise they could have so easily done the new like a new combination of knives and everyone would have bought this case a lot more uh, but they don't do that they generally want to do it with operations so i think we're getting something in the next couple months perhaps half a year and we'll be happy maybe in the summer because a lot of people play csgo during the summer also people go outside but also people want to like during the summer break and stuff maybe they'll plan it then maybe they'll do it before then because it doesn't matter people are gonna play it anyway right because it like the operation takes months and months and months to go so yeah that's basically it i'm not selling my clutch cases you could sell half of them but i wouldn't sell all of them i think clutch is yet to go up a bit more in the next coming months because there is just a lot of demand for it let me know what you think of the new skins too like i think the ak looks nice it could go well with four liquid fire hollows on it so that's for sure apart from that i wanted to check out this skin yeah it looks really good it's green which i love and yellow and it has a fade on it and it has a really interesting like 3d effect yeah i think it's good it's it's like solid it doesn't have too much detail which seems to be the difference now because it's just really bright and really vibrant uh which shouldn't be a purple purple should be kind of cool but not like really vibrant but uh, yeah i love it i i, I really like it this is a, going to be a good budget m 4 s because there's going to be a lot of these dropped a lot of these are going to be open because it's only a purple so a new a new budget skin for people who want to enjoy the m 4 s so tell me do you like them do you like the new skins do you not like them i'm really interested in in what you guys think about it i also quickly wanted to check out the price trend on buff for the clutch case because this is where it actually matters yeah it actually went up quite a bit because once again china china loves opening it and now the supply is going down so 33 cents that's a good profit already because i bought them back in the day for like 18 cents 
like a long time ago. Yeah, Clutch has also been steadily going up all, like since this month. I think Clutch is going to be a good investment. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if you want to see why we're going to get gloves next operation or why I think the next the next new golds in the game are going to be gloves instead of knives. Check out this video next. If you want to trade some of your older skins for newer ones, you can trade with me. I have tons of items available, none of the new skins yet, but I do have a lot of different things for low fees. So hit me up, everything's in the description. If you're still watching, you are truly awesome. Thank you. Goodbye.